think sometimes we think that biblical submission is becoming this robot and all we do is wait for orders from our husband and I don't believe that's the way God, you know, has ordained this and has called us to this. I mean, we still have minds, we still have hearts. And, you know, what I learned in my last experiment with the Proverbs 31 wife is we are such influences, you know, to our husbands. Um, influences that, that, you know, can motivate and encourage, not manipulate. <laughs> not manipulate. And I think there's a big difference there. Um, but so, so I kind of had to figure out, okay, how do I... How do I help my husband? What are some, how do I do that? What does that look like? And I came up with a little acronym. You know, I want to love my husband. I want to show him support, at, you know, as I support God, as I love God. And so I want to love my husband God's way. So I want to love his way. And um, so I, I had three little words that I used, you know, spelling out H-I-S, um, H, to honor to honor my husband, finding ways, figuring out those ways to honor my husband. And it's got to be ways that, you know, that, that are honoring to him, you know, not ways that I think, you know, oh, this will work, you know, but honoring him. And um, so that was one way. And then uh, I, um, to be intentional, you know, I think it's really easy as wives and, and husbands for us to just get into the day by day by day, uh, you know, of life. And we don't really think about our marriage. We're thinking about the bills and we're thinking about the to-do list and we're thinking about the kids and we're going here and going there. And, and really our marriages are the last thing that we focus on. So for me as a wife to be more intentional, you know, noticing, you know, if my husband needs help with something, noticing what I might be able to do to just, you know, help him have, a, you know, enjoy his day more. Um, maybe that's getting up early and, you know, making him coffee you know, before he leaves for work or, or something like that, something little, but intentional. And then S is probably the hardest thing, and that's to find ways to be selfless. You know, I, I think that's the biggest thing when it comes down to marriage, is you've got two imperfect people, you know, brought together by a perfect God, and then trying to figure out what this life looks like. And so it's easy, I think, especially as the longer you're married, maybe the beginning to and then as you go on to, to just kind of start thinking about yourself and, well, he's not doing this, so why should I do this? Or, you know, and, and, and it becomes kind of this bartering system. And for me, I just had, I learned that um, to be selfless to my husband isn't because I'm, you know, I'm, I'm trying to follow his, his will or anything like that. It's because I'm trying to follow God's will. And, you know, God has called me to, um, to minister to lots of people, but I also need to minister to my husband. And when I started seeing it that way, that made such a huge, huge difference.